a girl doesn't need to learn taekwondo or tai chi maybe she can if she wants to but she needs to have a voice if you can crucify gods what would they do to women Hey, this is Malini and I'm back with another very special episode of The Girl Tribe and I'm with one of my favorite people, Kangana. And she is playing an incredible character, Mani Karnika, Jhansi Ki Rani, the warrior queen who is the very first woman to fight against the British. And I have to ask you, what is it like to play this character? Tell me about her. I'm so happy you can pronounce it. Right? <laughs> I practiced. <laughs> um, also, I, I don't think it will be appropriate to say that she must have been the first woman. I'm, I'm sure there must have been mm -hmm. many because by then we already had a history of many years of slavery. There have been many fierce women who must have sort of stood up, but she's the one, first one who's documented, let's say. So it was my first role as a warrior, mm -hmm. my first action film. My first period film of like that period. First film where I'm playing a literal queen. Yeah. I guess. But she looks like the most, you know, <laughs> regal. And you know, when I even look at the poster and, and I saw the trailer, just to be able to conjure up that kind of rage, like how yeah. do that? Oh my God, it's not the, uh, the most pleasant feeling yeah. to be acting. Um, mm. up so much rage, um, yeah, your ovaries go bursting and you're all, you know, like those, yeah. all your veins of your face and throat, throat come out. Yeah. There's no substitute for mm. that kind of uh, expression. You cannot not sort of, you know, let Feel. it affect you and, and yet uh, sort of do it. Mm. So there is no shortcut, to be honest. Uh, you have to be like all the time, uh, uh, you know, like, and especially when you're fighting. Yeah. And we had uh, schedules for days and days on end, for weeks and weeks and on, which which was specifically just action schedule. Usually, mm. action happens like for a, like maximum for a week or so, mm. and then you go into drama. Mm. But then we have like a 40-day schedule of action and a 25 days. You got hurt really badly. Oh yeah. Too. How did that happen? Yeah. So there were actually two, three instances that I. Can you see these stitches? Yeah. So yeah, right now I've concealed it. Like uh, otherwise, I have like sixteen That's stitches like really on my close to your eyes. forehead. Yes, wow. um, and uh, I broke my leg. There were three, four steps. I fell off. I actually slipped mm -hmm. down, and I had the baby. Wow. And in in order to yeah. protect the baby, I just sort of you know went so uh, probably, and I just sort of twisted my ankle. And uh, other instance was where I uh, fell off the horse and scratched my <laughs> knee and all. So I recently started The Girl Tribe and this is what the show is about and, and you know I feel that women we're all rising in a sense you know we're all coming into our own and what's amazing about the character you're playing is she's kind of the first feminist in a sense yeah. I'm sure there were others but yeah. she's playing such a strong personality she I know like I read up on her she she was trained in all these you know um, in, in fencing warfare and skills, warfare yeah. skills and um, she didn't have a baby until quite late because she decided that she's you know yeah. which was unusual but is there something about her that you really, that connected with you, that you thought was, wow, like that you didn't know that you thought was special? Uh, I think the, the, the fact that she was not, she was one of the, um, you know, sort of very modern characters. So she um, was way ahead of her times mm. is something which really resonates with me. So she didn't play those regular parts of Queen, you know, where we were just confined to the palace and just yeah. sort of, you know, dressing up all day and, just waiting for the night to come and dress up again. So <laughs> it wasn't just that. Mm. She, she participated in uh, in, in uh, the local politics and she took charge of the situation. And her husband was also one very uh, sort of, you know, likable person who, mm. um, who was an artist at heart. Like he mm. was a theater artist and he loved doing theater and he didn't identify with the role of the king. He had, he owned the biggest library in Asia. I mean, of course, British have done a different sort of PR for them, oh, but yeah, what yeah. you really gather from the documents is that he was a very sensitive person and whereas she was the more fierce one and he would let her take the cause and... And even left the throne to her. Right? Yes, which is yes, which is, which is amazing because both of them just sort of completed in each other in a very different way. So I have a, a couple of questions from the Girl Tribe because I thought it would be nice if they get to ask you some questions as well. So here I wanted to know, don't you think that the war for independence is still raging and women are still fighting this every day today. I think this is the best time so far in the history of the world for women. 
before this, we have never been so empowered. Whether you know people were sort of plogging or people were cutting trees or doing other physical activities, today the the techni technology empowers us in a way that when you sit in your office and when another guy guy next to you doing on his sort of computer or what you're doing, is you are not sort of you know so you're not um, lacking in any way. My opinion, my digital self, or my identity online, it really doesn't matter. I can actually have identity of any gender or, yeah. you know, sort of yeah. have genderless yeah. identity. Yeah. Uh, that voice is voice. So what we've got to see is the, it's the empowerment that the technology has brought about in a woman's life. But before this, I think our physicality has sort of really limited us. Mm -hmm. Birth pill in itself is a very big, yeah. isn't it? You yeah. know, like, um, and, and to have access to, yeah. a choice yeah. to not to have a child or mm -hmm. have a child or mm -hmm. choice to freeze your eggs or um, you know choice to even change your gender um, so there is so much to be grateful for yeah. here and if you just want to look at the downside of it um, there are few but we I think we have really a lot to be grateful to absolutely and just finally a, a little bit on you know we're kind of champions for it too I'm really happy that people are speaking up in the Me Too movement and you know Till today, people are coming out and telling their stories. And do you have a message for the girls who are telling their stories? And what's your opinion on it? Do you think we're we're at that stage where we're going to be able to keep it sustained? I think yes, but I think social media is also playing. I mean, the the whole Twitterati, uh, <laughs> they have somewhere completely lost the meaning of uh, of the movement, and it has just gone into different directions. So it definitely needs to be channelized into the right direction. And uh, yes, in, in, in the industry, there have been few very, very dangerous and scary people. Um, usually there are, the, the extreme ones are, like in, in Hollywood, there was yeah. one and there the were main, few, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, there were yeah. few who were really, really horribly obnoxious. Yeah. Uh, they've been exposed and we've all heard their, you know, scary stories. Um, so that has brought about a certain cleanliness around. But also I think when people express their opinion about whatever it, it may be, you know, I, I just feel that it doesn't um, need to get into any sort of aggressive trolling because where the people uh, share their stories, they get trolled. Yeah. That, you know, they're, they're seeking attention mm. and, and sort of, you know. And that's and, the hardest part actually. Yeah. And also they, they're asked for proofs. Mm. You know, when I spoke, I was asked for proof. Now, what, what possible proof of intimacy can you can give? You, give yeah. you don't record, unless you don't record, you record yourself, you yeah. know, yeah. in the act. Yeah. yeah, so everything doesn't, mm. isn't about evidence. And if people sort of don't step, you know, sort of, you know, don't stand up for themselves, then they also get harassed, you know, like why you speak after so many years or mm. what was the right time and mm. um, the other day another actress who spoke about her opinion she got so brutally bullied I think th this sort of extreme reaction and no tolerance mm. and also trolling women in the name of woman empowerment is such a juxtaposition that you're like these women saviors are actually the threat to womanhood yeah. because yeah. if a woman feels that um, that she can stand up for herself, she can kick somebody in the balls and she can bash the shit out of a man. Yeah. Maybe she is able to do that, but she's not, it's not uh, applicable to all of them. But if somebody strongly feels that she can handle it herself, so why not just let that be, you know? And also to tell women that um, it is actually other person's responsibility to ensure their safety is of course it will be an ideal world where we uh, we know we take care of others human rights and everything but the dynamics of a criminal psyche is not that mm. you know like there's so many rich people who do shoplifting is not because they don't need those yeah. things is the thrill of breaking the law mm. is the thrill of taking away what is rightfully yours mm. so you think just because you have to tell a person that Wait a minute, I am a tutorati and I'm telling you this is it's not good to rape a woman. He'll be like, Oh thank you. You enlightened me today, is that how it's going to work? Mm. No. That person is looking for a dark corner, a, a spot like that where he can corner somebody and, mm. and rape somebody. And what, what is the tutorati is going to help them? The woman needs to have a voice. You cannot teach a young girl the society is responsible for your safety. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. That is not the way to tell a, a girl doesn't need to learn Taekwondo or Tai Chi. Maybe she can if she wants to, but she needs to have a voice. To begin with, that is your responsibility. When you want to say no, say no and find a voice. And if you don't want to say, maybe you're too frightened by your harasser, you need to find some voice in somebody, maybe a sister like mm. you who's in the media, a teacher, a neighbor, 
a cop, somebody you need to find, you need to find a voice first and then you need to find the person you can, you know, uh, in, who you can share that in confidentiality. Um, and that's, that's how you go about it. You know, you can't tell a girl that your safety is not your responsibility. It is, it is the other person's prerogative. It is the society's prerogative to see to it that, that you're safe. That is too idealistic. It's like even when God was born, he was crucified. It's never been so ideal. Even Shri Ram was born, he had to fight evil all his life and then eventually take Mahasamadhi. Yeah. If you can crucify gods, what would they do to women? Very, so, so very you point. need to be little realistic about how the mm. dynamics of negativity function, and mm. you've not, you cannot sort of have uh, children grow up in an environment where, like, hey, well, wait a minute, that's not how the narrative was. I am the good one here. I have, you know, I have done everything right now. Now I am cornered by four men in the middle of night, and and I am told that they must know what are my fundamental rights. Wait a minute, it's going to be too late, you know get whatever you can get a brick you can get a rod you can scream look for help even an animal when a little animal is cornered look how they fight for their lives just go by your instinct be, be the fierce person that you are and uh, you know fight for your rights you're never going to get what you think you deserve you like i've always said it you've got to get it yourself and definitely twitterat is not going to get it for you for sure that i assure you i think that's a very good perspective thank you so much for always being so candid with us and I just finally just want to know you've done this film and it's got so much power in it what's one thing that you've learned from Manikarnika? I've learned from Manikarnika that um, don't take yourself too seriously I think there is a charm to life um, where it is not just the, about survival where it is a little bit more romantic a little bit more larger than life uh, there is a different kind of a charm. Then you, you're not so much in love with yourself or your life, but you're in love with the, the, the very sort of charm of whatever cause you do believe in. That, you know, sort of a romantic life. I love that. Mm -hmm. And just finally, a message to my Girl Tribe girls, because you've been through so much in your life, mm -hmm. and I think you're such a huge inspiration. I just gave you a long... <laughs> I was itching to say that, and also um, uh, to all the girls out there, you're... I mean, it's, I don't get it that why, who are these people who are trying to empower women? There is this section of people who are like, I don't really know what to say to them. Like everyone who comes, like, women need to be empowered. Women, even if you go to most uneducated woman, even if you go to somebody who doesn't know how to speak, just try and try and take her child away from her. And if you get away with it, I'll lose anything. She will rip you apart with her nails. So that's how women are. Who are these people who are going to empower them? I wonder. Women don't need to be empowered. Just do not test them. Just do not come in the way of, you know, how they should be living their life. Just don't suppress them. They are doing wonderfully on their own. They're the very reason why the existence and why the, the entire human human race if has if survived is because of women. Do not help them. Just help yourself and just let them be. There you go. Thank you so much. Okay. It's always amazing talking to you and I am so dying to watch this movie. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Gautra. Thank you.